The Summer 21 release notes were published in April, ready for the release to go live in May and June 2021. Your go live date for Summer 21 will vary depending on your org. To check your dates, we've added a link to our release dates blog post on the Salesforce Ben website. In this video, we'll cover our top 10 favorite features from the Summer 21 release. Let's get started. For anyone who follows the Salesforce releases will know that there are many amazing enhancements to flow with each new release. Summer 21 does not disappoint. Keep an eye out for our Summer 21 Flow Features post, which will cover all things new with Flow. But for now, here are a few standout updates. What's become generally available is the ability to build multi-column screens in Flow Builder. Set a default value for any screen component that displays choices. You can use is changed, is new, and prior value in record trigger flow formulas. Some new functionality will help you to find failed flows faster and debug flows with the click of a button. There's an exciting update for dynamic actions in the Summer 21 release. You can now quickly and easily configure a dynamic actions bar for your standard and custom objects and set the visibility for the entire bar instead of individual actions. For more guidance on dynamic actions, don't forget to check out the full guide on the Salesforce BEM blog. Salesforce is finally bringing the power of inline editing to reports. So just like a list view, now if a record is out of date, you can update certain fields without leading the report view. The field types available for this will include text, number, and checkboxes. A great use case would be if a sales rep is viewing an opportunity report, they can update the probability field from the report and the report will automatically refresh. A great little feature for your users is the ability to download a dashboard as a PNG file that can then be embedded in documents, presentations, or anywhere else. Next up, we have C record access reasons in Lightning. So you can use the record sharing hierarchy in Lightning to easily understand why a user has access to a certain record. This is a great way for understanding how the different methods of granting access will work together to determine a specific user's access. The Analyze button has been around for a few releases, but it's seen a significant enhancement in the Summer 21 release. It will now give you insights and performance predictions for your custom components. Check out our guide for a complete overview of the Analyze button on the Salesforce BEM blog. We love Split View. However, previously, you had to switch back to a list view to perform mass actions. Well, no more. You can now perform mass actions in Split View as well. Sales teams can now drive accountability with the pipeline inspection. Pipeline inspection displays changes in opportunity close dates, amounts, stages, and forecast categories. Using these insights, your sales reps can focus on the most important deals, and managers can identify the opportunities or sales team members that need more support. Moving on to the native sales navigator integration for LinkedIn. The Navigator integration was only available as an App Exchange app. With the Summer 21 release, Salesforce has provided a native integration, including a LinkedIn Sales Navigator component that can be added to the Lightning page layout for the lead, contact, opportunity, and account objects. Really cool. Walkthroughs used to be a paid feature of My Trailhead, but with the Summer 21 release, you now get three walkthroughs for free. Walkthroughs enable you to create hands-on interactive tours, guiding users through new features or onboarding with step-by-step -step prompts. So all that's left to say is thanks for watching our top 10 favorite Summer 21 features. We hope it gave you a lot to think about and get excited for. If there's anything we missed out, any questions you have, or a favorite feature of yours you would like to point out, please leave a comment below.